Hey, how is it going everybody? This is Life in Florida. My name is Ari. Today I will be showing the sugar apple trees in the backyard, in the garden. And uh, i tell you how I get to know these interesting fruit, interesting looking definitely fruit and also very, very delicious. So uh, the very first time, it was a couple of years ago, maybe five plus years ago, uh, one of my uh, Cuban co-workers in, uh, had, had it in her garden and that was a purple variety and uh, she shared it with me. And uh, ever since then, I was very intrigued and especially when I tasted it, she was telling me that just to put it on the counter and uh, whenever it is soft, it has to be very soft, she said, it's ripe and it's ready to taste. And she was saying, make sure you don't eat the seeds, but eat the flesh of it. And that was a very, very good experience. So thanks to her, I was introduced to sugar apples. If you have the space and you have the weather conditions, I would definitely suggest you to grow sugar apples. They are very unusual fruits for me, especially because I'm from Europe. I'm from a four season place and I never ever even heard of sugar apples, let alone taste it. So this one is a fruit that it's definitely worth growing, expensive and it's not readily available maybe at ethnicity stores but even then the best if you grow it on your own i think and they don't take up a whole lot of space uh, this one is a couple of years old tree and normally they grow around 10 20 feet or so i did not trim this one at all but it's doing fairly well uh, winter time they lose their leaves so they get kind of naked and that's normal um, don't be afraid it doesn't mean that they're gonna die they just uh, doesn't they don't like the cold they kind of going to hibernation from it and they focusing their energy I think <laughs> look at that so uh, many people that I know they like to hand pollinate also but uh, lately with uh, the kids and uh, <laughs> with everything else, I didn't have the chance to hand pollinate. But you can see holding many fruits without hand pollination. So that's pretty cool. You can see all the fruit settings. Beautiful. And this is Dexter. They are coming out to say hi. Hi. So, oh, you get my shoe shoe? Yeah. Okay, all right. I think you need a hat, Babu. Oh, no. Yes, it's way, uh, the sun is way too strong, Babu. So, <clears throat> you can see so many fruit settings. I, like I said, I did not hand pollinate. Um, I heard if you hand pollinate it, you can expect even more. I let nature decide on this tree and this one doing very very well so that's the first one you can see it's growing it's actually pretty big already uh, the flesh it's very 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 wonderful very delicious but um, I also want to mention the seeds are poisonous so you don't want to swallow it um, you definitely don't want to chew on it. They're using it as a insecticide uh, or fish poison. And even against head lice, <laughs> the powdered of uh, seeds. So, this one is one of the three. I would say it's about 10 feet. Don't take it off! Don't! Boobam, this is ha this have to grow, okay? Don't take it off again, okay, Babu? Please, don't, you know, just don't. And uh, yeah, just, just leave it alone, okay? Hey! 
Yeah. So yeah. it's more if this is oh, I don't know. this Mommy. is happens quite often actually. But it's not the end of the Mommy, world. Shadow. Yes, there is shadow. Yes. Why why don't you why don't you pet shadow, okay? Okay, <laughs> don't fall in a big shoe. <clears throat> so yes. Well, not a big deal because here's the thing. There is one, two, and three. This is a Thai lessard sugar apple. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. One. Three. Yes. <coughs> there is so much on the tree. It's a small one. It's uh, right underneath the. Yes. Shadow wouldn't let you pet him. I'm sorry. Maybe he just don't feel like it today. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe uh, later he will let you to pet him. Okay. <coughs> Let mommy get back over here, okay? <laughs> Alrighty. So this is a very good variety, you guys. If you have a chance to grow the Thai Lester, it's amazing. And it's very uh, fruitful as well. Very, very fruitful. Like I said, I did not use any hand pollination and it's just holding its fruit very well so this is the second tree this is the third one it is a purple or reddish variety sugar apple it's a seedling the fourth one is the biggest one and it's in full sun of course it's growing with other plants but this one i don't see not one fruit set and this was the same happening last year with this one so i'm thinking of missing some uh, nutrients i think this one for some reason but it's too early i think maybe still would or i have to hand pollinate five six are thai sugar apple seedling and I planted many, many of the Thai Lester sugar apple because I thought that it was superior to the other just regular sugar apple. It just, I liked it much better. Can produce in like three, four years. So that's pretty great from a seed. And this one and other red sugar apple variety it is a, it's another seedling of the Thai Lester sugar apple. Nine and ten, they are both uh, Thai Lester sugar apple. If I have a chance, I will definitely plant more of this Thai Lester. It's a really, really good variety for what I like. And the eleventh, it is also a Thai Lester sugar apple. I went crazy of planting these seeds because it was so delicious, the fruit, that I figured that I wouldn't mind to have more of these trees. And they don't take up a lot of space, actually. So I'm lucky because as I'm walking to check how many sugar apples there is, check out the first coconut cream, mango. It's a, a smaller one, but it fall off from the tree. I'm so happy to try smells so delicious you guys definitely worth to plant that tree all i'm saying hope these videos inspire you to plant more and enjoy the fruits they're eating yes they're eating the nectar yeah, hum, hum, hum. With that said, I wish you a great day and see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye. bye.